Hello, Steve Mills here, and I'm live from my office here in Portsmouth. It's great to be here, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you my thoughts on how you can get from uh, literally from zero, from startup, to six figures with six steps in six months. So uh, I like the sound of that. So I thought it was a good idea and something to uh, to go through. I've made some notes. So if I'm looking down here, uh, I'm just checking my notes to make sure I cover it, everything. So, uh, oops, sorry, let me just turn that off. Uh, that's no good. Uh, so, uh, right, let's, uh, let's begin, shall we? So how to get a small business. Uh, be it a startup or one that's been going along, you know, trundling along the bottom level, turning over 20, 30, 40,000 a year uh, to hit that magic mark, that 100,000 pound plus turnover within six months is a real hump. You know, it's like a, it's like your first hump up that scale, you know, and the second one's getting to a million and the third one's getting to 10. And from there, allegedly, it becomes really easy. But uh, for a lot of people, a lot of businesses getting over that first hump is a real challenge. Um, in preparation for today, I looked up some statistics and uh, apparently, uh, us small businesses account for over two trillion in turnover. Two trillion. That's a lot of money. Uh, and it's divided very, very uh, low with 52 percent of the turnover from the private sector coming from SMEs, from small businesses like yours and mine. However, what is also really uh, worrying, in my opinion, is that since if you started your business in 2017, and I'm recording this in 2019, if you listen to it in the future, then there is an 82% chance that you will no longer be in business. And don't you think that's terrible? Don't you think that's really sad that people have, you know, gone into business, they're trying their best for their family and friends and themselves, have no doubt invested a load of time, money and effort, and they're no longer trading inside uh, two years. So, you know, th there's a mass of people. Uh, really out there in this uh, particular little segment of the SME market. And these are people who are not doing very well at all, barely able to cover the costs, not able to pay themselves what they deserve, not able to live the life that they, you know, originally started off in business to give me a better life. And what actually has happened is, is you know, for a lot of people, it's they finish up, you know, working 12, 14 hours a day. They don't have any money. They don't take holidays. And the whole thing's just a, a, a nightmare. So uh, I'm really um, trying to produce this video to, to help people in that situation. Um, I, I do believe getting to six figures was one of the hardest things uh, for a small business. And talking to many small businesses out networking and so on and so forth, you know, it's it's almost like a, a forgotten dream. You know, they they get busy, they get to work, they they work operationally in their business, doing the work, you know, doing the work, doing the work, doing the work, get, exchanging time for money without ever really uh, getting anywhere in the business. Um, so uh, I've come up with six steps, six steps to get you um, from zero or from very little to six figures, over £100,000 in six months or less. Right, let me go through them. Uh, just before I do, I want to really clarify. If you think about your business, if you're really serious about growing it, there's only one way, really. But there's two ways of making more profit. One is to reduce costs, and the second is to increase sales. Yeah, that's a given. And you can reduce costs somehow in your business by an amount of money, uh, maybe 5%, 10%, etc. What you can only do, though, is so much. And if you're only turning over 30, 40 grand, if you reduce it by 20%, it ain't going to make you that much more money. So assuming then it's about increasing sales. So what is the key, do you think, to growing your business? You've got to become better at what? You've got to become better at lead generation and lead conversion. In other words, sales and marketing. They're the two things that you want to get better at. 
Now you could say, well, you know that that's true, Steve. But you know, I'm not a I'm not a salesman or I'm not a saleswoman. I don't even like marketing. This digital marketing, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know how to market myself on LinkedIn. Well, you know, I'm here to tell you that that's just going to take you to hell in a handbasket. You know, that's going to cost you a load of money. And and in my belief, uh, that is what's holding you back right now. You you cannot say that anymore. You know, there's no excuse. There's plenty of places to go and learn this stuff. And just saying, well, I don't understand it, you know, is costing you money. So on to my steps. Okay, so step one, and you know what? It, it's so obvious you're going to know it, but I, I've put it step one because it's probably the most important thing and often the most neglected thing as well. Now, step one is knowing your results. Now, I'm sure you know what you're turning over. Now, hopefully, you know how much profit you're making and you know how much money you've got in your bank. So, you know your big stuff, but it's the marketing stuff underneath that. You know, if you want to get to 100K, how many leads do you need? Now, that, that's really what you need to think about to start with. If your average unit of sale, you know, the average amount of a sale every time you sell something is is a thousand pounds, you only need a hundred. That's for, that's two a week. You need two sales a week to get you to a hundred K. You know, if it's a hundred pounds, then you need a thousand, don't you? You know, I'm real advanced mathematics here. You know, you need a, a, a thousand, a, a, a thousand sales you know, of a hundred pounds to get you to that 100,000. And so, you know, you need to know what your numbers are, but you also need to know other numbers, like the number of contacts you've got on LinkedIn, the number of people visiting your website, uh, the number of leads that you get, the number of leads that you need to get in order to get a sale. So in other words, your conversion rate, the number of networking events you need to go to to get an inquiry, and so on and so forth. So uh, what I'm saying here is you need a good understanding of your sales and marketing numbers, because without that, how do you know where to put your sales and marketing time and effort? How do you know what's working and what's not? How do you know what you need to improve? And how do you know what you're going to spend most of your time, effort and money on? The answer is you don't. The old saying is, you know, you cannot manage what you do not measure. And yet 90% plus of the SMEs that I speak to have zero clue about those key marketing numbers. So that's step number one. Number two is to define a niche. You need a niche. You don't just have to have one. You don't have to say, right, well, we're just going to work with solicitors or we're just going to work with businesses like this or people like that. Um, you might have two or three. You might do some test niching. You might try, you know, if I'm going to market my, my business to uh, a variety of different industries, then I might try this industry, that industry, or the other industry to find the one that's the best for me, that gives me the best return on investment. And then I want to focus on that niche. That that is really really important. So what you don't want to do is say, well, we, you know, I work with small businesses. I work with, you know, uh, businesses in the UK. I work with any business. You know, be niched because let's face it, if you've got a niche, if you're an expert in something, then more people will buy from you more easily, more often because you're a specialist. Would you rather buy from a specialist or a generalist? For 99% of people, they go to a specialist. You know, do I want a GP uh, to deal with my heart attack or a specialist heart surgeon? You know, which would I run to first? You know, um, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> Nothing against GPs, obviously. Um, so uh, make sure you do that. So that's step two. Number three is, and again, you know, I can't tell you how important this is. Learn more about sales and marketing. Your current le level of knowledge is not good enough. Now, you know, I don't know you, different people, you know, thousands of people are going to watch this video and their knowledge will vary. But whatever level it is, you know, I've spent 25 years studying marketing. I learn about marketing three, four, five times a week. I spend probably 
10 to 20 hours a week learning about marketing. And you know what? I still don't know enough. And I will be doing the same next week and the week after and the week after and the week after. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting you have to do that. You know, I'm a full-time professional marketing person. I, you know, stand up and tell people I'm an expert in this. So, you know, I, I, I've, I've got to be really focused on this. But you need to improve the level of sales and marketing. If you're going to get better, if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to get the same results. I think it was Einstein said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different result. So we don't want to be in that uh, particular uh, group of people. So uh, learn about marketing. You know, I was at a networking event the other day. There was 110 people there. And I, I was the speaker. And I said, right, hands up if you're responsible for sales in your business. I got 110 hands. Hands up, I then said, hands up if you have done any sales training whatsoever in the last year. And I got about 12 hands. So that was 98 people were employing a salesperson who hadn't bothered to do any training for over a year. You know, I don't know about you, but that just blows my mind. And I just think, you know, what a waste. How much is that costing them? And, uh, you know, not a great, th not a great idea. So step four, step four. I call this raise your game. Raise your game. Look at each and every element of your sales and marketing and work out how it can be better. Now, I come from a background as a sports person. I used to play my chosen sport of table tennis at international level. Now, it doesn't matter what the sport is. If you're playing at that level, it's all about little benefits, little edges, about getting the edge, improving a little bit in each area of your game called sales and marketing. So what am I talking about? Well, let's just take, for example, a web page, right? You've got a web page and it's called Our Services, right? And it's all about you. Well, to start with, what you're probably doing is we in all over your page. And what I mean by that is, you know, we are this, we are that. We've been established for 15 years. We can help you do this. We are we, 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 we. You know, instead of you, 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 you know, talk about what you do for um, your clients. So in other words, you can improve the words, the, the title, our services. You know, is that the best thing you can come up with? Wouldn't it be better even marketing services or landscape gardening services? You know, something a little bit more descriptive than our services. And that'll help you with Google as well, by the way. Um, we then look at uh, testimonials. Are there any testimonials on this page? Uh, maybe video testimonials or written testimonials from people saying how great your website is. Well, what about pictures? Are the pictures as good as they could be? Is there a video like this one on that page uh, where somebody's you know talking passionately about their business like I am right now? Perhaps they're educating people like I am right now. Um, you know, because if they're not, uh, and they did, then that could improve the conversion rate of the page, which is what you're trying to do here. You got a page, you want people to pick up the phone as a result. Where's the call to action? Have you even got your telephone number on your page? Can people call you? Uh, is there a form that they could fill in? Is there a free download that they give you in exchange for their contact details? All these things can improve the most wanted action the key to the success of this page. And I hope you take that on board. Step five. Step five is know what you want and when you want it. You know, people say, well, I want to grow my business. I say, well, here's a pound. Uh, get out of here. That's it. Thank you very much. You know, you've done well. You've grown your business. You've got a pound more. No, no, no. They say, I want a lot more than that. I say, well, what do you want and when do you want it? So what is your aim? Is it to get to 100K? Or is it to get to, you know, maybe maybe perhaps you turn over 60,000, 70,000 right now and you'd love to get to 200,000 inside six months or a year. You know, what do you want and when do you want it? And, uh, you know, if my aim is to go from, I don't know, uh, 100,000 
to a 1.2 million in 12 months, then I can break that down and say, well, you know, roughly speaking, I need to grow 100 grand uh, per month in increased income. Then I can start to measure along the way whether, you know, if after two months I've increased business by 10,000, I probably ain't going to get to my 1.2 million. So this is really important so that you can, you can, you know, you know that in a, in a year's time you want to be here. And, and so you can see in three months that whether you're here or not, you know, are you, are you on schedule? in other words. So that, again, I think is really important. Uh, and the last one, I, I think I've said the best till last because, you know, it really is probably the biggest mistake that I see uh, businesses make. And, and, and this it can be summed up really in two words, take action. You know, if you ask me, you know, I've been doing this for 25 years now. You know, I was very young when I started, clearly. But I've been doing this for 25 years. And if you ask me what is the biggest number one reason, Steve, that small business marketing doesn't work, what is the number one? It'll be this. Never gets done. Never gets done. It only gets done when they're quiet, when they got no money. And, you know, I got a client uh, the other day who was going to come on board. He said, yeah, yeah, I need to meet one of, you know, and and then about three days before, he said, oh, sorry, I, I can't meet now. I got a new client. Uh, it's a really big project. And, and so, you know, sooner or later, his big project's going to come to an end and it's going to be in deep doo-doo again, you know. And, you know, so that type of, you know, starve it, you know, uh, feast and famine marketing just doesn't work. You have to keep going with it. Even if you are busy, you've got to keep going. So, you know, uh, I love, uh, there was a guy, an Australian guy, his name I can't remember actually at the moment, but he, he came up with a lovely saying. He said that marketing's a bit like a wheelbarrow. Nothing happens until somebody picks it up and pushes it forward. And how true is that? Um, you know, so take action. So there you have it. There's six steps that if you implemented that would easily get you to 100K, I'm absolutely certain. But what I would say is maybe maybe step seven is get some help. Get somebody who's done there, been there, uh, got the T-shirt, you know, made the mistakes, and somebody who can work with you and help you to get to that level. Now, I'd love to be that person for you. I'd love to work with you and help you to get to that level. However, uh, I want you to take a step for me first. What I want you to do is very simple. I want you to go to my website. My website is www.stevemills, that's M-I-L-L-S, dot co. Well, it's not .com or .co.uk, .co, okay? Just to clarify that. And if you go to the uh, to the banner at the top, you'll see a button that says book free meeting. And that's what I want you to do. You can you, you gain access to my online diary, and I want you to book a free meeting with me. Now, the meeting can be either here in our office. It could be on the telephone or it could be on zoom.com where we can see each other online uh, for a, an online meeting. So either way is fine by me. I've only got a limited amount of, of time. In fact, uh, in the, the next uh, month, I've got four meetings available. So, you know, go to my website now. If you're live on Facebook uh, or on um YouTube now, go there now and book a meeting. Uh, if you're not and you're looking at this uh, in the future, then go and check out my website and see if there are any spaces uh, available. Um, criteria is, is really, uh, this is for business owners, okay? So um, you need to be a business owner to uh, gain access to the free meeting. Uh, you need to be committed to growing your business. Uh, no, not happy with where you are. If you're happy with where you are, carry on. You don't need my help. Um, and number three, you need uh, to be able to invest both time and effort and money in 
um, your success. This is not about any, you know, get rich quick scheme. This is just about how do you get more out of what you've already got? And how do you get your business as a startup, as a small business, who've been trundling along for some time, uh, earning 30, 40 grand and getting just enough to pay the bills to get you to hit that 100K mark. And then, you know, next, let's take you on to the next level after that. But we can talk about that uh, in the future. So um, let's have a conversation. See if you feel as though you can work with me. Let me see as though, uh, if I feel as though I can help you and I, I can work with you. And if we both think we can, then I'll explain what I think I can do for you. You can make a, an intelligent business decision as to whether uh, you'd like to uh, work with me. And if you do, we can, uh, we can get cracking and uh, we can start making you uh, some serious money. So thank you ever so much for listening. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to give me a call. You can get my number from my website. Uh, once again, that's www.stevemills.co. Thanks very much for listening.